Shalom. We start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashum Yahushai, Bashum Arachakorash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the Great Millstone at Ruel. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the for elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the earth. Now, just when you thought you were given a break from these uh from these pandemics, here come another one. And uh, just like before, they starting right back in communist China. You know, right where they have that lab. You know, where they've been cooking up on various pathogens and viruses that they release. And then when... You know, somebody comes down with something, it becomes mysterious. And so the media, you know, is going to run uh, the story, you know, all throughout the media, you know. And of course, you know, the goal is to uh, reinstate the same fear that put the people in line the first time. Because remember when this thing started back in uh, 2020, it was around this time, all right, right before uh, 2020. It was at the end of 2019. And uh, the media was constantly uh, giving warning about, you know, this mysterious virus and that people in China were, you know, getting sick and, you know, falling out and, you know, they show footage of people passing out everywhere, passing out on buses and transportation, people passing out in the street, people walking around with hazmats on. All right, they was uh, going around spraying people with disinfectant. And uh, a couple months after that, it was over here. It mysteriously makes its way across the water to Babylon. So we had to be careful. You know, we had to fear. Then before you know it, <laughs> it was it was a it was the pandemic. And everybody had to shut down. Y'all remember? We was locked down for two weeks. All the uh non essentials had to close down. And small businesses ended up shutting down. They lost a lot of money. Only big business, the big corps made money. So it's looking like we back at it again. This devil is not going to stop. And we know the the the, the ultimate uh, reason for why they're going to continue to, uh, you know, run these pandemics. Claw Schwab. He kind of already spilled the beans on that. And this is what he said. This is quoted from him. He said, the pandemic represents a rare but narrow window of opportunity to reflect, reimagine, and reset our world. So he pretty, pretty much telling you, you know, what the goal is. It's not about preventing a health crisis, you know, they want you to believe that. But um, no, it's actually to push their globalist agenda. And 2020 definitely helped usher it, usher it in. But they're not finished. All right. So anyway, you know, this uh whole thing in China right now with the uh this mysterious outbreak of uh pneumonia and uh you know they're showing a lot of hospitals being overwhelmed just like back in 2020 which when we were uh when it came over here and they was constantly uh showing footage of hospitals of people you know all throughout the uh the hospital rooms and uh the waiting rooms was full but when you went to your local hospital 
it was it was it was like normal. It wasn't as crowded. It wasn't like what they showed you on mainstream news, what you saw on the NBC and CBS, ABC, USA Today, all, all those different uh, networks controlled and, and owned by the you-know-whos, as well as the fact-checkers. Uh, and now they control all the information now. So, you know, it's very convenient, all right, and the timing of it, because they also want to uh, get rid of anybody that's spreading what they call misinformation or conspiracy theories. They want to get that completely off the Internet so that they can continue to run their game on the masses of, of, of this world. All right. So. You know, this is giving us those 2020, you know, late 2019 going into 2020 vibes. All right. This is about to, it's about to be winter. You know, in a time of uh, weather change, immune systems are, are, are not that strong. All right. Because, you know, people don't normally prepare themselves. I mean, hell, I, I try to eat well and, and, and take my herbs and all that, but I still got caught. I still got sick. So they know around this time uh, each year, you know, that's when, uh, you know, sickness, infirmities increase. So <clears throat> this is from Newsweek. It says China's COVID trauma returns as hazmat workers disinfect streets. You see the same rerun. And, you know, what they did a few years ago, you know, it was really to uh, ingrain that into uh, the people. So you'll know that it's just a routine now. It's, it's part of uh, your normal life. Whenever we decide there's a, a, a pandemic, you do what we tell you. All right. You, you know the drill. Put the mask back on. Social distance. Okay. And then the people panic. If it'll run to the stores and bum rush the, the aisles, take all the toilet paper, all the cases of water, you already know how it go, man. So we're going to see if they bring this in 2024. Because this is, is almost looking similar to 2019 going into 2020. All right. So um, this is the article. I'm not going to uh, read it. All right. But this is what's going on right now as we speak. <clears throat> Where, you know, the, all the children over there in China, you know, they coming down with uh, this this virus. And, uh, you know, a lot of them, they got to do their homework with IVs attached to them. You know, it looks bad, but we don't know if they're running a play again. Because the first time, you know, there was a lot of deception involved. Like when they were showing us footage of them hospitals. It wasn't even uh, footage that they, you know, when they would play certain um, footage of uh, certain hospitals, it wouldn't be the actual hospital. And it would be from a, a, a different hospital from a whole other time period. All right. And we know that uh, mainstream media, they they lie. They do a lot of uh, mind programming, in, in, which is witchcraft. It's called Operation Mockingbird. All right. Matter of fact, let me get a quick scripture because it tells you his right hand is the right hand of what? <clears throat> Psalms 144 and 11. And it says, rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speak of vanity and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood and that's what they known to do all right psalms 144 and 11 in the one in the nlt save me rescue me from the power of my enemies their mouths are full of lies they swear to tell the truth but they lie instead you can't and you can't trust and in, uh, any individual that'll swear to you that you're getting the truth but they're lying to you the whole time 
They'll lie to you with a straight face. All right. Now we know that the the, the higher ups and the uh, the puppet world leaders that represent the elite, they've been warning that there's going to be another one. Even that devil, um, Kill Gates. <clears throat> you know, he said we gotta uh, prepare, and he said that that'll get their attention next uh, this time. And he said it with a with a with a, a demonic smirk on his face. So. They pretty much have these things planned out as like a schedule. All right, let me get another another scripture. <clears throat> Micah 2 verse 1. And it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. You know, and this time they're going to try to regulate even more. You know, because... People back then, um, they were listening to the mainstream media uh, narrative. You know, everybody that was glued to the TV watching mainstream news, they got traumatized. All right. And you had it. It was to the point where people were driving by themselves with, with face mask on. You by yourself and you're driving with the window up. With a face mask People was damn near killing themselves Because they thought it would make them safe And that, and that demon uh, 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 Fauci Frauchi Alright he He was inconsistent You know he was the main dude That they would go to to ask For advice on how to handle it And how to uh, prevent the, the, uh, the transmission And all that And he kept double backing on whether it was safe and preventive or, or, or not. He went from saying it's, it's, it's absolutely like it's, it's pointless to no, wear, wear double. You might want to wear double like the dude was all over the place. And, th and this was a guy who people was trusting. You know, people was walking around yelling, uh, trust the science. And that shit became an enchantment. Well, stand now with thine enchantments, like the, like the prophecies say. People are going to be more prepared this time, meaning they're going to be, they're going to know what's really going on. All right. A lot of people, they, they learned and, and a lot came out about what was going on at the time. Big Pharma, they, they made a killing. And then they tried to cover up, you know, all the uh, casualties as a result of the you-know-what. And it ain't even over with yet. So, then they're going to try to re, uh, run this again. And this time, because uh, they said... By uh, May of 2024, uh, the World Health uh, Organization, the WHO, they're going to basically be the, the, the legal lead on uh, pandemic prevention. Um, they said pre pre prevention, uh, response, basically prevention, protection, and, and response or something to that effect. But basically, uh, all 194 uh, members represented in, in the UN, they all pretty much voted that into law. That basically the WHO is going to be the, the, the leads on all pandemics. So basically, whatever they tell you to do is law. And that's pretty much uh, that organization becoming your like your 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 authority uh your your authority you gotta you gotta basically do what they say or you can uh get your uh whatever uh because you know that they're gonna try to also 
uh, implement uh, uh, digital identification. So if, if in that time, if you don't uh, follow the rules, um, you won't be able to have your uh, digital identification. Or if you have it, it's going to be like some type of uh, social credit uh, system like they do, ha like they have in China right now. And through that, they'll be able to counsel services and you won't be able to uh, go anywhere. Like over in China, um, they had these uh, health passports where if your, if your app uh, got scanned and it was uh, green, you was in the clear, you was good to go. If it was in the yellow, you need to be a... Uh, you need to be investigated or checked. If it was red, you had to be quarantined. You basically you was not allowed into no store, no nothing, no transportation. You just you you have to get carted off to uh, uh, one of those uh, containers that they had, them little boxes that they was putting people in, and you had to be there. Quarantine. So these they finna start making moves going into 2024. All right. Cause yeah, it's getting hot over there in the Middle East. All right, with with you know uh Israel and all that, which they talking about a, a, a little uh truce, basically a little uh ceasefire, all, you know, out of nowhere. But we already know what, what time it is. But they won't keep the masses distracted with all this going on here in the States with the, the you know, the the, the, the Diddies and the, the, the Jamie Foxes, you know, the, 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 the Will Smiths. But meanwhile, this is what they're getting ready to prepare for. And we've been saying that they're gonna they're gonna keep doing this. So all we gotta do is just continue to to, to watch this devil, man. Let me get uh let's get Ephesians six. And we're in perilous times for real. Ephesians six and ten it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And, you know, he, they, they're using the same old wiles again. All right. And they always start with, with, with these gooks, man. Communist China. Because, like, remember what Klaus Schwab said? He he sees China as the the, the, the model for the way the whole world needs to basically implement that that same model. All right, where everything is a uh, smart digital and uh every everything is a uh, surveillance. You are being controlled and ran by a, a a technocracy. You know, everywhere you move there's facial recognition, everything biometric. Everywhere you move, everywhere you go, everything is being measured. Monitor, traced, and then it's connected to a social credit system to see if everybody's complying. And you know, you follow the rules, you you get to keep certain privileges. If you don't follow the rules, you get none. So they come in with it, man. And we, let's see if the people buy it this time. All right. It says. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. You know, these are uh, uh, ruler, these, these uh, people that are in authority. These globalists, it says against the rulers of the darkness of this world, the international bankers, the super rich against spiritual wickedness in high places wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to 
withstanding the evil day and having done all to stand. All right. So, you know, we already know this to, to, to stay prepared in the spirit and in and, and, and watching this devil. This is, this is, come on, man. And I wonder what, uh, what, what snake venom they're going to have, uh, ready for the, the world this time. We, we shall see. And, and when it goes down, we're going to see, all right, who, who's, who's for real. Cause like even the Lord said, when he, when he comes back, will he find faith on earth? Right. A lot of people show that they really wasn't with it, man. They they didn't have a, a lot of these people. They didn't believe, man. They, they didn't have faith. They trusted this devil, man. Even a lot of church people they, that they swear up and down that they're devout Christian. And they're and, and, and they and, and they, you know, they have faith. They, they preach salvation through faith. But when it came down to that. They all failed the test. So the, the same thing can be rolled out the next time and this time with the MOTB being the solution. So, yeah. This, the, you know, this can very well happen again. I'm not saying that this is it. You know, but it's starting to look like that. But we see it going over there in China right now. It just puts you back in 2019 going into 2020. And they can do this again. And then with uh, the, the the WHO, all right, becoming the, uh, the legal leads for all uh, pandemics from here on out, starting May 2024. So it would definitely be the, I mean, just the timing of it all, the way it's all lined up. So, yeah, we, we was going, uh, you know, keep that that armor on, man. All right, and and also like it says in uh, the, the previous chapter, walk circumspect, walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the times because the days are evil. And we're in an evil, an evil time. Proverbs 22 and 3. And it says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. All right. He's playing the same old game. All right. And we know, and, and you know, you know what to do now to stay ahead of the game. <clears throat> All right, be willing to uh, lose your your you know your, your job or whatever, because uh, you know they're not about to put nothing in your body. And then definitely, if, when it comes down to the MOTB, if they decide to push that, you already know what time it is. That's what's gonna uh, bring that day even closer. All right, but we know what they're pushing for with with these uh events. Okay. Well, let's say should get an advantage of us. We're not ignorant of his devices. So we shall see. But you know, let's we gotta you know look at stuff like this. You know, with with with, with that with that open eye. Like they should tell you something like, "Hey, it's looking quite familiar." So, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying, man. I'm uh, I'll I'll post this link in the description box. We give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shai. To the next video, Shalom.